Welcome to Pennsylvania in Focus. I'm Eliana Kernodal. Border security and immigration reform aren't far from the minds of voters in Pennsylvania and across the country. And the same goes for Pennsylvania U.S. Senate candidates Bob Casey and Dave McCormick. Joining me with more on this story is the Center Square's Pennsylvania editor, Kristen Smith. Kristen, Casey and McCormick held their last debate recently, and this topic was a main focus. What did they have to say? Sure. So Casey, who has been the incumbent senator in Pennsylvania for the last three terms, has really focused on his support for a bipartisan border bill that's been stalled in Congress for several months now. And that bill basically would have reformed asylum rules and uh, boosted the number of Border Patrol agents. And this is something that hasn't passed, in part because Republicans have a lot of problems with it. The main problem, and this is something that McCormick really hit Casey on, is that it didn't address some very obvious things, like we have a border wall that's not finished. And the asylum rules that have been proposed are still some of the most liberal in the world and would still allow 2 million undocumented migrants to cross into the border. And his argument is that what we've been doing isn't working. We've got uh, 25,000 convicted criminals of violent offenses and drug trafficking who have come into the country in the last several years. We've got over 200 people on the terrorist watch list. We have thousands of people dying from fentanyl overdoses that is, you know, linked to drug cartels from south of the border. And so his argument is Casey, along with the Biden administration and Vice President Kamala Harris, who is running at the top of the Democratic ticket for president, that what they're doing so far hasn't been enough and that what they plan to do will not go far enough. And McCormick says that this is a national security crisis of epic proportions. Not only is it allowing people that we don't know who they are into this country, uh, but it's worsening our opioid epidemic. He noted that the amount of people who have died from a fentanyl overdose is twice the amount that have died from Vietnam in recent years. And he just doesn't think that uh, Casey is going to stand up for more border reform in a way that would actually fix the problem. At the same time, uh, Casey thinks that McCormick is just blowing smoke, that he is uh, too weak to stand aside from his party and actually support a bill that could get through Congress. And that would send a more uh, more assistance to the border in the form of more border patrol and new asylum regulations. And what are voters' opinions on this? Uh, according to a recent Voters Voice poll, which is commissioned by the Center Square, it seems that 40 percent of respondents say that illegal immigration is one of the top three, if not the most important issue facing this country. Obviously, the the issue is more pronounced for Republican respondents. Sixty two percent of them listed this as one of the top issues. Forty three percent of Democrats agreed. And then half of independents, just over half, are actually more aligned to the fact that inflation is the country's biggest problem. So. That's an interesting statistic, given the fact that the weight of independence in this election and in Pennsylvania in general is considered very high. And so there is a, a disconnect there between their feelings about illegal immigration and Republican and Democrats feelings about it. That being said, it's an interesting amount, a significant amount of voters who would say illegal immigration is a problem. It would make sense for the country or the states that are right along the border, California, Arizona, Texas, New Mexico, all the ones that are are struggling with having to actually protect and secure the border. But that means that Pencil Pennsylvanians who are thousand mi- thousands of miles away from coast to coast, uh, border to border, that this is a concern. So it's certainly something that's resonating with voters. And it, and it makes sense that Casey and McCormick spent so much time talking about it at the debate. And what have been some of the of the actual impacts of undocumented immigrants on the state of Pennsylvania? In Pennsylvania, there has been estimates, according to the Migration Policy Institute, that there's uh, 160,000 undocumented immigrants that live in the state as of 2018. So, you know, those numbers are a little old, but estimates varied between 160 and and 200 and some thousand. Obviously, the number is hard to pin down because they are undocumented and are not always ready and willing to identify themselves as such. But there is data on how much undocumented migrants actually contribute to state and local taxes. According to the Institute of Taxation and Economic Policy, there was 94,000 employed undocumented migrants in the state, and they contribute $135 million in state and local taxes. And the problem is, while that does counter the narrative that all 
undocumented migrants are coming in here and working, you know, lower wage jobs, but still not paying any taxes. Uh, critics also point out that their contributions, while not zero, are still not enough to offset the social safety net costs of caring for these migrants and their families once they're in the state. The Center for Immigration Studies said during a January congressional hearing that although most undocumented households nationwide have at least one worker, 60 percent use public assistance programs, and that includes welfare, medical service, the public education system, and supposedly that outstrips economic gains by $68,000 per person. So there's certainly an economic impact on Americans' everyday lives. However, there is certainly a desire among the electorate to balance the negative impact that they may be feeling economically with the humanitarian crisis that is certainly happening at the border and the amount of innocent civilians that are exploited by some of these uh, drug cartels and other terrible conditions south of the border that would make them want to come and seek asylum in this country. Well, Kristen, thank you for your insights on this story. Listeners can keep up with this story and more at thecentersquare.com. 